Right, Shalom, this is the Brothers from Mar from the GMSSF Bay Camp. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders. And Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. And I'm just pretty much making this video on this article you see right here. Just because I stumbled across it. I was look, I was Googling pretty much like uh, false flags about the Orlando shooting and whatnot. And then this popped up basically saying that the LA, um, LA Passy confirms it. Orlando was a CIA false flag and basically this to do the dude in, who was in LA who got caught with the the guns and whatnot and they said he pretty much planned to attack the pride event they saying that he was linked with the guy in um, Florida Florida or in Orlando and the and it was like four other people involved as well and they basically got trained this article goes into saying how they got the CIA is training people basically to go out there and cause these false flags just to push the least agenda pretty much and I'm gonna go into this article a little bit so it says an anonymous Santa Monica police officer says James Howell was part of a coordinated CIA homosexual or coordinated plan he was he was part of a coordinated CIA plan to attack homosexual events in LA and Orlando but turned himself in Sunday when he realized that like his partner Mateen who was killed who would be killed how described details of his recruitment and training by the CIA as Griffin says this could, could be the smoking gun for all federal government false flag terror operations according to two department sources how called Santa Monica police on Sunday morning claiming that he needed protection from the CIA how further elaborated to the dispatcher stating that he had been set up by the CIA and said they are going to kill me <clears throat> and this is in Santa Monica two police officers who wish to remain anonymous for fear of retaliation say that James Wesley Howe an Indiana man who was found with a car full of explosives and weapons Sunday morning told police he was part of a team that planned shooting attacks on gay communities in Florida and California Howe told police he was turning himself in because he wanted protection his story was that he had been assured by his recru recruiters that he would not be blamed, be, where he would not be harmed in sh the shooting out, in the shooting. But when he heard on the news that Omar Mateen, the lead gunman in, Orland in the Orlando group, had been killed by the sniper fire, he realized he was being set up as a patsy and would be killed. Soon after that, the FBI took over the investigation and information to the public was filtered to remove any facts that might show the Orlando shooting as a planned event involving others. It is important to remember that police officers who are the source of this story choose to remain anonymous so it cannot be independently verified at this time. The circumstantial evidence supports it. For example, after FBI took charge of the investigation, police chief Jacqueline Seabrooks changed her original report that Howe was part of a group of five people who intended to do harm at the gay pride event in West Hollywood. Her altered report made no mention of any other than Howe. The, number two, the website that reported the story is still carrying the article without triggering legal action against it. That is significant because if the story is false, immediate legal action will be expected. If it is true, how will be he will how will be killed or disappeared to prevent him from talking. But the last thing the perpetrators would want in a public is a public trial where witnesses can be called to testify. Yeah. This news story could be one of the most important reports ever published in, in Annals of Journalism. That's quite a statement, but when you consider the true nature of its content, it is no exaggeration to say that it has potential to fundamentally change the relationship between the U.S. government and the American people. And that could lead to a profound change, not only in America, but the entire world. So it's just basically... Uh, you could I'll put the art article in the description, but it pretty much goes goes into a little bit more detail about how he was linked with the dude in, Ar in Orlando and how they pretty much CIA are recruiting people and training them how to make bombs, shoot guns, and do all these different things. 
just to set up different false flags and so it's not linked to them technically because then all they're going to do is what it says right here like just make a cover up story so it's just showing you that the least they they planning to do something real soon pretty much because they, they they're training it's, it says it in the article and you can go I, i'm gonna post it so you can read it but it says it in there that they pretty much recruiting people and training them how to make bombs how to shoot guns have accurate shooting and then they telling them to go out there and kill these people and to do these at these certain events and places and basically lying to them telling them that you're not going to be harmed like it's all right you can kill all these people you're not going to die and then you'll end up getting killed nobody really knows if it's, if it's like you know it's true or not but you know that the least they lie about everything so it's not far-fetched that this would be true so they they plan lots of false flags like 9 11 the um, Boston bombing all these other different false flags that be happening so it's not too far-fetched that the elites would do something like that all right this is um Micah 201 woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hands and that's pretty much what they this is going into that how the they devise iniquity because they plan they plan to do these attacks. This is this was all planned out by the CIA. They they trained these people beforehand. They were trained how to and how to make sure they were trained how to shoot, make bombs, and they were told specifically like this: you're going to go in, do this, do that. Everything is pretty much laid out. They already had to you know they already had the blueprint how they was going to do take like go out there and do these different actions and the LA. It, in the article it goes into it how like out in LA the only reason that it didn't go through was because the dude told him himself the cops didn't even find him he actually called the police and told him himself because he, he was supposed to go through and actually blow some shit up and like do a bigger a bigger attack than what happened in the Orlando club and this is Amos 6 and 1 Woe to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named the chief of nations to whom the house of Israel came. And that everybody in the Babylon, mainly our people, specifically because this is who the word is for, they're at ease in this society and they don't even know about stuff like this going on. That's why it says, Woe, woe to them that are at ease, meaning destruction. Cause they don't even know that this is just these little false flags that are happening is just leading up to the big the big finale man because then when a major one happens in different parts if they really carried it out how it was supposed to go according to the article it would have more than likely been like martial law down there because it would have been multiple attacks in different states and in different areas so they would have it would have more than likely went to the points where martial law would have happened but he fucked up they plan like if this article is true he basically fucked up the plan when he called the cops and told them himself and got himself arrested. But then they flipped the story and said that he, they found him somehow with weapons in the, in the car and all that. So this is just showing you that at least they, they planning to do some shit real soon because a, a lot of different false flags and terrorist attacks have been happening. And, and this is just right here is just showing you, there's more, more proof showing you that every false flag or terrorist so-called terrorist attack that happens is all planned by the CIA and the elites but it's all planned for a higher purpose and, and that's really for them to ultimately get to the new world order so with that that's pretty much it. this is all I pretty much want to touch on it just pretty much look out for for whatever they plan on next because the elites they they right, obviously making big plans and doing things, man. So you got to keep keep watching and look out because they, they about to do make some big moves real soon. So with that, I'm going to give all praises again to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders. Shalom to all the Akim out there, preaching his word in truth and sincerity. And we almost out of this thing. Keep watching, keep, keep reading. And death to America. Shalom.